In this video, I'm going to bust seven fitness myths that people usually believe. Hey guys, my name is Ahbar Ajayib and welcome to Proper Fitness. All calories are equal. Calories are nothing but the measurement of food. So that doesn't mean uh, whatever calories we have, have the same effect on our body. Different food go through different metabolic pathways and have different effect on our hunger and the hormone that regulate weight management. Replacing carbs and fat with protein can uh, boost your metabolism and also improve your appetite and control your cravings. Also calories from whole foods such as fruits can be much more filling uh, compared to refined foods such as candy. Losing weight is not a one-way street. You, can, you cannot consistently lose weight for a longer period of time. It has its twists and turns. Uh, some weeks you lose weight, some weeks you gain weight. Uh, and sometimes you, uh, whenever you weigh yourself, you have uh, more food in your digestive system than other days. Sometimes you have, uh, your body is retaining more water than other days. So you cannot say that weight loss is a one-way street. And especially in females during their menstrual period, they have significant uh, changes in their uh, water body levels. It doesn't matter how much your weight fluctuates, but in the long term, if your weight is going down, then that's the way to go. Supplements can help you lose weight. This is one of the, uh, one of the most common things that I've heard. People say there are fat burners, there are uh, other supplements that can help you lose weight. But losing weight also all comes down to only one thing, and that is, and that is caloric deficit. All these companies that are claiming to make you lose weight are either fooling you just to make money. There are few supplements that can help you shed a few kilos in a, in a long term, but that doesn't mean uh, that the basic of weight loss, that is caloric deficit, don't come into play. You have to be in a negative energy balance that's when you are going to lose weight. How can I lose weight? You can eat less and move more. This is what I've been, I've been listening to from a long time. Body fat, body fat is nothing but a stored energy. So to lose bo body weight, you need to eat less calories than you spend. So in theory, this can be, so in theory, this can be a common sense to believe that uh, if you eat less and move more, uh, can be a good way to lose weight. But in a long term, this is not the right way to go. So people who are obese, people who are uh, who are heavier, if you if they go by this rule, then they are going to lose weight in the in the beginning. But in a long term, they are going to get all the way weight back, whatever they have lost in a year or two. To exactly lose weight, you need to have a change in your mindset, change in your lifestyle, change in your eating habits and that is more important. So if you just go and uh, tell someone who is obese to eat less and move more, it's just like telling a smoker to smoke less. That doesn't actually work. You are addicted to food. People, there are some people who are actually addicted to food and because of that they are obese. So, so entire change in their mindset is required. Calves make you fat. Calves doesn't make you fat. We have been eating calves for a very long time. Uh, it's since 1980s these, uh, that the obesity trend has started. People have g gotten obese after uh, the introduction of fast foods uh, and uh, refined carbohydrates. Uh, that is when we started gaining weight. Carbohydrate by itself, whole carbohydrate are really very healthy and does not uh, um, make you gain weight. So it's on us to decide smartly what kind of carbohydrate that we are going to have in our daily, uh, in our daily foods. Fat makes you fat. This is the most common thing that started uh, after the introduction of fast food. So fat doesn't actually make you fat. fat uh, even though fat has more calories per gram compared to uh, carbohydrate, uh, uh, fat has 9 gram of calories per gram so that uh, that does mean it's a caloric dense food you have to have calculated less fat every day 
but as long as your calorie intake is in a healthy range uh, fat is not going to make you fat and also there was a study done about uh, high fat low carbohydrate food and it was uh, seen that uh, a diet high in fat and low in carbohydrate tend to make you lose more weight Uh, it's believed that people with obesity are healthy and thin people are unhealthy. There are a lot of obese people that are uh, metabolically healthy and there are a lot of thin people, they have the risk of uh, chronic uh, illnesses. It all comes down to the build up of fat in your body. If you have a lot of fat on your abdominal area, then there are a lot of uh, risk uh, for your metabolic illnesses. Diet food Diet food can help you lose weight. Honestly, that is completely false. I've seen a lot of packets, a lot of food packet, processed food packets with uh, written healthy and proper green. And that's, that's just a marketing gimmick. They just want to make money out of it. Some examples include low fat, no fat, uh, gluten free, fat free. Like a lot of these kind of words that's been used. So whenever people read it, it uh, become obvious that this is healthy but this is not a healthy option these label are usually these label are usually they to only deceive you nothing else